we are going to solve do this page number 92 problem 1 so total 6 problems are given so we have to solve these pair of linear equations by substitution method to solve these equations by substitution method first where they given pair of linear equations 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 1 let this one as a equation 1 and x minus y is equal to minus 1 let this one as a second equation to solve these equations by substitution method first we write a second equation x minus y is equal to minus 1 as x is equal to y minus 1 so we can substitute x value x is equal to y minus 1 in equation 1 so then equation 1 implies 3 into y minus 1 minus 5y is equal to minus 1 so by distributing by distributed law we can write 3 into y minus 1 as 3y minus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and the remaining minus 5y same as t is and minus 1 same as t is now here 3y and minus 5y are similar terms so we subtract these two terms so we can we get a minus 2y so next equation can be written as minus 3 minus 2y is equal to minus 1 next transpose minus 3 to the rhs we can write it as minus 2y is equal to minus 1 plus 3 so after simplification we get to y is equal to minus 1 next we substitute y is equal to minus 1 value in equation 1 to find the value of x then equation 1 implies 3x minus 5 into minus 1 is equal to minus 1 so minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5 so we can write the next step as 3x plus 5 is equal to minus 1 next transpose 5 to the rhs then we can write this equation as 3x is equal to minus 1 minus 5 after simplifying we write minus 5 plus minus 1 is equal to minus 6 so we can write x is equal to minus 6 by 3 after cancellation we get x is equal to minus 2 by 1 so minus 2 by 1 means minus 2 so we can write a x is equal to minus 2 so therefore x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 1 are the solutions of the equation so i'll do this page number 92 second problem so we solve this problem by substitution method here two linear equations are given x plus 2y is equal to minus 1 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 so first we write the given two linear equations and let x plus 2y is equal to minus 1 as a equation 1 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 as a equation 2. Now we are going to solve these two equations by substitution method. To solve this equation by substitution method, we write x plus 2y is equal to minus 1 as x is equal to minus 2y minus 1 after transposing 2y to the RHS. So now substitute x is equal to minus 2y minus 1 in equation 2. Then equation 2 is written as 2 into minus 2y minus 1 minus 3y is equal to 12. So we replaced x with a minus 2y and minus 1. So after distributive law we can write this step as 2 into minus 2y as minus 4y and 2 into minus 1 as minus 2. 3y is same as t is and 2y is same as t is. After simply here minus 4y and minus 3y are similar terms these two are have same sign so we add so we get a minus 7y and a minus 2 is equal to 12 and after transposing minus 2 the rhs we get a minus 7y is equal to plus 12 plus 2 so next step we can write it as minus 7y is equal to 14y is equal to 10 as 14 by minus 7 after cancelling 7 1s are 7 2s are we can write it as a minus 2 by 1 Finally, we write the y is equal to minus 2. Next, we substitute y is equal to minus 2 in equation 1 to find the value of x. Then, equation 1 implies x plus 2 into minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So, after simplification, we can write x plus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So, next, we can write it as x minus 4 is equal to minus 1 and I suppose minus 4 to the RHS we can write it as x is equal to minus 1 plus 4. 4 minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 3. Therefore, we get x is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3 and uh, y is equal to minus 2 are the solutions of the given pair of linear equations. Now, we are going to solve this page number 92 problem 3. In this problem, there are two linear equations are given. We have to solve these two linear equations by substitution method. So, given two linear equations are 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 5 so first we write the given two linear equations and uh, let 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 as a equation 1 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 5 as a equation 2 
we have to solve these two equations by substitution method to solve these two equations by substitution method we have to write any one of these two equation in terms of x or y so we write equation 1 as y is equal to 9 minus 2x by 3 next substitute this y is equal to 9 minus 2x by 3 in equation 2 then equation 2 implies 3x plus 4 into 9 minus 2x by 3 which is equal to 5 by distributive law we can write next step as 4 9 is 36 minus 4 2 is 8x by 3 is equal to 5 so by taking lcm we can write next step as 3 into 3x plus 36 minus 8x by 3 is equal to 5 next we transpose 3 to the rhs then we can write the next step as 9x plus 36 minus 8x is equal to 5 into 3 so this can be written as here 9x into minus 8x are similar terms and we have to we can subtract these two so we get x and 36 same as it is here 5 3 is a 15 so we write a 15 so after transposing 36 to the rhs we can write it as x is equal 15 minus 36 15 minus 36 is minus 21 therefore we get right x is equal to minus 21 substitute when x is equal to minus 21 in equation 1 to find the y value then equation 1 implies 2 into minus 21 plus 3y is equal to 9 so here to minus 21 into 2 is minus 42 so we can write the next step as minus 42 plus 3y is equal to 9. Next to transpose minus 42 to the RHS. Then we can write 3y is equal to 9 plus 42. Next we can write 3y is equal to 51. Then we can write y is equal to 51 by 3 by cancelling 3 ones are 3 seventeen. So we can write it as y is equal to 17 by 1. 17, one, 17 by 1 is equal to 17 therefore y is equal to 17 so x is equal to minus 21 and y is equal to 17 are the solutions of the given pair of equations so i'll do this page number 92 fourth problem so here fourth problem there are two linear equations are given we have to solve these two equations by substitution method so first write the given two linear equations as x plus 6y is equal to 6 as equation 1 and 3x minus 8y y is equal to 5 as equation 2 to solve by substitution method we have to write the equation 1 as x is equal to 6 minus 6 by y by transposing 6y to the rhs next substitute x is equal to 6 minus 6 by y in equation 2 to find the value of y then equation 2 implies 3 into 6 minus 6 by y minus 8 by y is equal to 5 where we apply the distributive law and we can write this equation as 3 6 18 into 3 6 18 by y minus 8 by y is equal to 5 here these two terms are similar terms so by adding we get 18 minus 26 by y is equal to 5 next to transpose 18 to the rhs then we can write this step as minus 26 by y is equal to 5 minus 18 here 5 minus 18 is minus 13 so we can write as minus 26 by y is equal to minus 13 and to transpose y to the rhs and 13 to the denominator of lhs then we can write it as minus 26 by minus 13 is equal to y so we can write it as y is equal to minus 26 by minus 13 we can see 13 ones are 13 twos are so we get y is equal to 2 by 1 here minus minus is cancelled so we get finally y is equal to 2 therefore substitute y is equal to in equation 1 to find the value of x then we can write equation 1 as x plus 6 by 2 is equal to 6 we cancel 2 ones are 2 3 is also we get this step x plus 3 by 1 is equal to 6 here 3 by 1 means 3 so we can write it as x plus 3 is equal to 6 next transpose 3 to the rhs then we can write x is equal to 6 minus 3 here 6 minus 3 means 3 so we get x is equal to 3 therefore x is equal to 3 and y is equal to are the solutions are the given to pair of linear equations this page number 92 fifth problem in this problem there are two linear equations given we have to solve this equation with a substitution method so here these two equations have coefficients as a decimal number so it is difficult to solve so so convert these coefficients into whole numbers with a 10 because we have decimal point after one digit that's why we multiply equation one with the 10 on both sides then it can be written as 10 into 0.2 x plus 0.3 y is equal to 10 into 1.3 then we get a 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 13 and this one has a equation one and we convert the second 
equation into whole coefficients then multiply with the 10 on both sides then we get a 4x plus 5y is equal to 23 let this one as a equation 2 now equation 1 write in terms of x now you write the set equation 1 as y is equal to 13 minus 2x by 3 now substitute this y is equal to 13 minus 2x by 3 in equation 2 so equation 2 implies 4x plus 5 into 13 minus 2x by 3 is equal to 23 we multiply 5 with 13 minus 2x by distributive law then we can write it as 5 13 the 65 and 5 2 is a 10 x so we get the next step as 4 x plus 65 minus 10 x by 3 is equal to 23 and in this step we take the 3 as LCM so we can write 3 in denominator and we can write a numerator as 3 into 4 x plus 65 minus 10 x is equal to 23 so next to transpose 3 to the RHS then it can be written as 12x plus 65 minus 10x is equal to 23 into 3. Here 12x and 10x are similar terms. So 12x minus 10x we get to 2x so 65 same as is and RHS 23 3 is a 69 and we transpose 65 to the RHS so next step is written as 2x is equal to 69 minus 65 69 minus 65 is 4 so we can write 2x is equal to 4 and transport 2 to the denominator then we get write 4 by 2 next we cancel 2 1s are 2 2 are then we get x is equal to 2 by 1 2 by 1 is nothing but 2 so therefore we get x is equal to 2 therefore substitute x is equal to in, in 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 then we can write it as 2 into 2 plus 3y is equal to 13. Here 2 2 is a 4. So next step is written as 4 plus 3y is equal to 13. Transpose 4 to the RHS. Then we can write a 3y is equal to 13 minus 4. Here 13 minus 4 is 9. So we can write a 3y is equal to 9. Next transpose 3 to the denominator. Then we can write y is equal to 9 by 3. Here we can cancel 3 1s are 3. 3 3 is a 9. We can write y is equal to 3 by 1. Here 3 by 1 is 3. So we can write a y is equal to Therefore, x is equal to and y is equal to 3 are the solutions of the given equations. To solve this page number 92, sixth problem. In this problem, there are two linear equations are given. We have to solve this by substitution method. So, here first we write given equations as root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 as equation 1 and root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 as equation 2. To solve these equations by substitution method, we write uh, equation 1 as y is equal to minus root 2 by root 3 x. Substitute y is equal to minus root 2 by root 3 x in equation 2. Then equation 2 implies root 2 x minus root 2 root 8 into minus root 2 by root 3 x is equal to 0. Next, after multiplying root 8 into root 2, we can write it as root 16. So next step is written as root 2 x plus root 16 x by root 3 is equal to 0 here root 16 means we can write it as a 4 so next step is written as root 2 x plus 4 x by root 3 is equal to 0 now we take root 3 as LCM then we can write it as root 3 in denominator and in numerator we can write it as root 3 into root 2 x plus 4 x is equal to 0 next we transpose root 3 to RHS then next step is written as root 3 into root 2 is equal to root 6x plus 4x same as t is 0 into root 3. So here 0 into root 3 is 0. So we can write the next step as root 6x plus 4x is equal to 0. In these two terms we have x comma so we take out x comma and then we can write it as x into root 6 plus 4 is equal to 0. Next we transpose root 6 plus 4 to the denominator then we can write x is equal to 0 by root 6 plus 4. Here 0 by anything is 0 so therefore we can write uh, x is equal to 0. Therefore Next, we substitute x is equal to 0 in uh, root 2 x plus root 3 y is equal to 0. Then we can write it as root 2 into 0 plus root 3 y is equal to 0. 0 into root 2 is 0. So we can write next step as 0 plus root 3 y is equal to 0. And 0 plus anything is same number coming. So we can write it as root 3 y is equal to 0. Next, to transpose root 3 to the denominator then we can write y is equal to 0 by root 3 0 by anything is 0 therefore we get y is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 are the solutions of the given equations please like share subscribe our channel for latest updates
by pressing the bell icon.